Hi guys, I want us to look at the process of creating a subform and also in some cases you can opt to use a list box instead of a subform. Therefore what I mean by a subform, if we launch this project, uh, you'll be in a position to see that um, sometimes you need to display whatever you capture in the form uh, in a sub form therefore if i click on this one record the customers here you will notice that um, the details i capture here is uh, i need to see it in the sub form and for that case for example if i add a new guy here if i add a new guy here we need an hi then the cell phone number that's 254 then uh, i am a buyer uh, for that case uh, if i click on add record uh, that way uh, for that system uh, you'll notice that um, if i refresh you will see don gichai here and his details has been added that is in the sub form and you can be in a position to uh, get a guy here from this list box uh, that way you see you can be in a position to get uh, that is a guy uh, in the system like i have uh, shown you therefore for that case that way uh, this is a sub form this is a sub form and this is the form and therefore i'll be taking you through on how to come up with such therefore we launch microsoft access then we go to new then you can just have our sub form our sub form then once we are in our sub form like that uh, we just open this access uh, then once we open the access uh, for that case uh, we go to we go to create here yeah? then just go to uh, table design when we are in the table design for that case you can have our id that way our id can be the outer number then you can have the customer customer name this is our primary key then you can also have uh, the cell phone uh, for these guys then you can have address we can also have whether this guy is a buyer uh, or uh, something different like um, uh, purchaser then this one is yes no this one is yes no for that case therefore I save this table of mine if this can be called client that way therefore this is what I need to have then you can double click uh, once I double click, this is how uh, our database looks like. Uh, that is our table. Therefore, for that case, we need to create a sub form and a form. Therefore, we go to create, we go to form wizard. Then, having uh, this data, send everything to your right hand side. Go to next. Uh, we need it to be columnar. Go to next. Uh, let it remain as client. Then, finish. Therefore, this is what we have. And uh, once we have this one, we can just uh, uh, rearrange or ma make it even more beautiful or attractive. Go to format, uh, then change the font sizes here. This one is 20 is bigger, as a 14. This one we make it black, bold. You can also do the same to this one here. Just go to format, then we go to size 16, black that way. Then, after having done that one, we can close this. After having done that one, we can reduce the size of this to somewhere up to there. That is whatever you need. Then you just pull this down. Now we need to bring our sub form here. Now for that case, there are two methods. You can pull this table here. Then the wizard launches. Probably this is the easiest method uh, for that case. Then uh, choose from the list just select define therefore for that case you can just have the id 
and also the ID there. And then next, then finish. Therefore, once I click on finish, I would have created my sub form, only that I needed to remove this one. Uh, therefore, I can just bring this here that way. Then now, if I save that one and run my form, you'll notice that um, I have my form and my sub form. Now here we ju can just add a data down. We change the cell phone to Then my address is that form. Here then this guy here is a buyer, like that. Therefore, uh, for that case, just go home. Uh, save our data. You see now Don Gichai appears here uh, in this system and uh, for that case you'll notice that uh, I am in a position to uh, uh, capture data therefore you can still go to uh, uh, that is the new guy here we can have somebody else Karin Jerry then plus 2547 that is the number address one put one more this is a buyer for that case you see now I have now this person here also captured here therefore that is one way of uh, coming up with a with a sub form the second way instead of now using a sub form you may opt to use a wrist box to display the same therefore we just re go to this one here the sign view we remove the sub form if I just click this one I delete if I need to delete this then now instead of uh, dragging and dropping this you can go to design then go to this point here right here you can just go to this can you opt to use this that is sub form or sub report but uh, it is the same procedure. If I you click on that one, it will follow us the same wizard. Therefore, let's go to the next one where I can opt to use a wrist box. Therefore, let's just get a wrist box where the wrist box is. Therefore, we just find it. This is wrist box. I click on wrist box. Then I just draw the wrist box here. If I just draw the wrist box there. Then the wizard appears. We just I want the list box to get the various from another table. Yeah, you go to next. Then our table is client next. Then uh, you send everything to your right hand side next. Next. You see now it will have these two guys. If I just go to next, then next, then finish. Then once you do that, you remove this part here. Then uh, go to design go to properties then once you go to properties here go to all you will see the column heads here just double click put it yes like that should be yes in case you need to increase the sizes of the column width you adjust these figures here don't make sure column heading is set for yes therefore I save that one and then I just go to this point save and run Therefore, you'll notice that um, instead of now using a sub form, I have used a better way that is the wrist box, which is more attractive. Therefore, I can increase the uh, I can increase the that is the, the the width of this. Therefore, you can just go back to design view. First of all, you can just redesign this. Go back to design. Go to and get. A wrist box from this point here then draw I have got the wizard I want the list box to get and go to next next therefore here I need to have the customer name the cell phone now whether he's a buyer or a purchaser therefore just go to next next uh, for that case remove this tick go to next 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 finish Therefore, that's what we have. Then the first one, okay, the, uh, I can move this. Then the first column I need it to be bigger. Therefore, I can adjust that one to be two instead of one, two. That way. Then this point here, that is column heads, double click, should be yes. 
then save and run it. Therefore, when you run, this is what you have, ladies and gentlemen, you're in a position to have the wrist box displayed just below the, the, the data. And in case I click on add new here, and add a new guy here, that way, then the cell number, that way, then address something like 25 euro. This is a purchaser. And then I refresh this one. I click on save, then I refresh by pressing a five on the keyboard. You notice that um, our file or our database is just growing. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important concept when it comes to creating Microsoft Access projects. And therefore, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed for me. And also, remember to share these videos with your friends. Thank you very much. See you in my next session.